Shell is about the power to light millions of light bulbs in the city. But Shell is also about the power to light a single light bulb in the forest. Sitio Calacuasan in Puerto Princesa City is six kilometers off the national highway. There are no paved roads leading to the community. Getting there involves several river crossings. It is completely inaccessible to vehicles during the rainy season. This is the home of the Batak tribe, one of the original indigenous tribes of the Philippines. Ang tribong Batak ay sila yung kapamilya ng sinasabing Negrito uh, ethnic group ng Pilipinas na kinikilang mas uh, nauna kontra sa mga Malay race dito sa Pilipinas. Life is simple here, almost unchanged for hundreds of years. The Batak today are still hunter-gatherers. Secluded from the modern world, they have no electricity, no radio, no television. No, na wala pang kurinti, yung ilaw namin talaga sa ilang. Kung saan kami pumaroon, yun talaga ang pinaka plus light namin yung, yung sa ilang. But years of subsistence living has stunted the growth of the community. And while the tribe's people have survived all these centuries, they recognize the need to move forward. This is where Shell comes in. Chief, nandito po kami para ipaliwanag yung magiging plano dun po sa ating proyekto. Kalakwasan is one of several pilot areas for Shell's access to energy project. A project aimed at small, off-grid communities that would benefit from energy to support their livelihood, health, and education. Noon kasi wala talaga. Umasa lang kami sa kunting pagkain pala sa, sa aming mga katulog sa bubat. Pero ngayon, parang natutunan kami na sumasabay na rin kami sa Chief Legababa. Katulad ng ano sinabi ng iba na sirte kayo talaga dito sa inyo. Parang siyudad na rin. Assessment of available resources show that water and sunlight are freely abundant for this indigenous community. Shell then laid the groundwork to install a hydropower generator from the nearby river supplemented by solar power. With these two systems linked to an array of rechargeable batteries, Shell will help bring the Batak tribe into the 21st century, while continuing to value the bounty of their environment and their deep respect for the spirits of the forest. There was a survey done to understand the energy needs of the community, what are the available resources uh, in the area, what technology can be adapted, and what uh, operating management can be uh, used to operate and manage the system. By providing lights to the community, the project will support the livelihood of the Batak tribe. In the past, tribesmen could only work for two hours into the night because that was the longest that their torches, that they call sa'im, could last. With the access to energy project, tribesmen can now work as long as they need. Children will now have the ability to read, study, and learn, even at night. And this, perhaps, is what matters most of all. Kinausap din namin yung mga teachers kung uh, ano ba talaga ang magiging impact nito sa mga bata na nag-aaral? Gaganda ba yung grades nila? Meron bang mga dahilan kung bakit hindi sila pumapasok dahil wala silang homework? O ngayon na magkakaila o magkakaroon ho ba ng improvement sa pag-aaral ng mga bata? In selecting the sites for access to energy project, we chose the communities that are least likely to be connected to the grid. In this way, we are able to complement the efforts, especially of government, in delivering energy to these very hard-to-reach places. It is one of Shell's ways of uplifting communities whose resources are tapped for bigger projects in nation building, such as the Malampaya Deep Water Gas to Power Project, a government project operated by Shell that provides up to 30% of the country's electricity requirements through cleaner burning natural gas. After all, 
Shell believes that social investments make good business sense, since gaining community support should always be the first step in any major undertaking. But true social investment is in empowering communities to take control of their future. Shell made the Access to Energy project a collaborative partnership with the participation and support of the Batak tribe and the National Commission on Indigenous Peoples, the lead agency of government that promotes and protects the rights and well-being of indigenous Filipinos. Lord, maraming pong salamat sa pinadala niyo, ginaan niyo ang tulay, ang silpon niyo para makarating po ang proyekto dito sa amin na liwanag ng bahay po, liwanag din po ng buhay. In the end, the Batak people will take charge of this project. They are already being trained by Shell on how to operate and maintain the hydro and solar hybrid system. And this is the gift that truly keeps on giving, long after the paint and the logos have worn off. Malampaya is not just about powering a country's cities and industries. It is also about empowering hard-to-reach communities where a simple light bulb can light the way to a brighter tomorrow.